where you wanted to be. Because that's where I wanted to drink. That's what you love. Because I loved the like Pinot. Cab drink, but originally I turned them on to some really Pino. good Pinots and uh, but, uh, introduced them to my friend Bert Williams. And, uh, that was like the beginning of a good relationship, you know. What did Bert do for you? Uh, Bert was the owner of Williams Sight. Mm -hmm. And he worked at the newspaper with uh, Bruce and I. That's where I met him in the middle 60s, 1965. I knew him. Uh, when he worked at the paper. And he wasn't making wine in those days, he was doing light shows for rock and roll. Uh, mm -hmm. and so, at the Avalon Ballroom. Uh -huh. And he and another friend of mine uh, were doing that, and we just uh, hung out with those guys doing that. And then in the 70s, Bert started making wine at home, and then I guess pretty much the rest of the story is history. He became one of the top Pinot producers in California, probably in the United States. And I uh, was very fortunate to spend a little time each year with him. Uh, during Crush, I'd take a week or so to help out. It was always a great experience. Plus, he was able to get me some fruit. In the early 80s, there was very little peanut. Oh, I see. You know, there was, uh, it wasn't a popular grape. It was mostly Chardonnay in this area, the Zinfandel. People didn't really know about uh, right. peanut. It wasn't popular. Nobody really was making it. Was and there was a few people, Joe, uh, Joe Rocchioli and, uh, and Joe Swan. Gary Farrell and, and uh, a few other guys were doing Pinot. So Pinot was uh, unknown only just 30 something years ago, pretty much. I mean, people knew French Burgundies, but they didn't know California could produce mm -hmm. such high quality Pinot Noirs 30 okay. years ago. So it's a relatively new, yes. relatively new uh, thing. Well, I'm in the infancy of this. My ne the next generation or so will know where to plant and how to plant. And we're in the vanguard of the new new education of what's, what this grape can really do in, right. in uh, the Russian River and in California.